What do you think of when you think of the British Empire? Daring adventurers in pith helmets roaming the globe fighting a hordes of native aggressors and building railways, while spreading the virtues of the British legal, political and education systems? Or do you think of the slave trade, oppression, exploitation and racism? In this video, let us focus on the historical chronology of the British Empire. We can break the British Empire down into four stages. The first stage we will term the origins of empire, and this dates from around 1560 to 1707. In the 1560s, British pirates such as Francis Drake raided Spanish trade routes carrying slaves, gold and other commodities to and from the Americas, leading to the British to have designs of their own for a prosperous empire. Around this time, plantations were established in Ireland and Protestants migrated there en masse from Great Britain. And in 1603, after the accession of James I, British migrants started to settle the North American coastline and smaller Caribbean islands. Tobacco and furs in North America and sugar in the Caribbean became the main commodities of trade as part of a triangular trade route in which products were sent to Africa from English factories in return for the deportation of slaves to the Americas. The second stage of the British Empire we will call the Becoming of Empire, and this stems from around 1707 to 1815. During this time, Great Britain became the world's dominant colonial power, despite the loss of the 13 American colonies in 1776, from which time Great Britain shifted its focus from America to Asia and Africa. Around this time, Britain started to colonise the eastern coast of Australia, particularly with deported convicts and later New Zealand was also settled. In 1807, the abolition of slavery was announced as the Industrial Revolution meant that slave labour wasn't so necessary to the British Empire's economy. The third stage of the British Empire was the Imperial Age, from 1815 to 1914. The events that dominated this period were the scramble for Africa and the British Raj in India. From its offices in London, the East India Company drove expansion into the Indian subcontinent until the mutiny of 1857, when the government took over control and created the Raj. India would become the British Empire's most valuable possession. In what has been called the Pax Britannica, Britain ruled the seas without challenge and controlled world trade. Technological innovations such as the steamship and telegraph also led to Britain's dominance being unchallenged. The fourth and final stage was that of the end of empire and decolonization from 1914 to 1997. Although the empire was at its territorial largest in 1921, the decline had already begun. The First World War drained the British Empire of its resources and will to control such a large swathe of the world. After the First World War, the growth of the USA as a world power and independence movements in countries such as Ireland and India further deteriorated the stability of the empire, and this was compounded by the Second World War. Post the Second World War from 1945 to 1997, it was a period marked by a process of decolonization as countries under British rule gained independence and an introspective period began in which the legacy of the British Empire was discussed, but that's for another video. Thank you for watching this 4 minute history of the British Empire and please look in the description below for books and movies you should check out for a more detailed and nuanced look at the British Empire. If you found it interesting, you may be interested in other 4 minute history videos, including one made on the legacy of the British Empire, where its consequences are briefly discussed. And finally, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much and see you next time.